much. Director Peter Berg has brought some harrowing true stories to the big screen. We're talking about movies like Lone Survivor and Deepwater Horizon. You can catch his latest project on the small screen just in time for Veterans Day, the new History Channel series called The War Fighters. Peter, it's great to see you. Good morning. Great to see you. Talk to me about the, the, the idea behind this, because this is different from what you've done. Um, well, I have a, a, done uh, shows in the military space, and, and I'm a big fan and a supporter of our military. And this show will give us an opportunity to go very deep into the personal lives and into the tactical lives of the men and women of our special operations. You know, I, I think we've all seen a story unfold, a true story, and we've all thought, what was behind that? Mm -hmm. what, you know, where did these people come from? Where do they go after yeah. this happened to them? And I love the fact, as we're looking on the screen right now, we're hearing from the actual people. Yeah, I mean, I'm very proud of the fact that 90 veterans actually worked on the show. They were part of making making the show. And one of the, I think, really unique aspects of Warfighters is that you get these men who generally are the most tight-lipped, private guys you will ever meet in your life telling really intimate stories about their love for each other and, 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 and how they operate it. And it's so real because oftentimes when Hollywood does these stories, and I don't mean to paint with a broad brush, yeah. you get only the bravado side of things. And here you get the fact of what they felt like when they were going through it and what it was like after the trauma. Absolutely. And this, this episode that you're seeing here is about uh, a, a, a young soldier named Mark Guzzo who tragically committed suicide after he got out of uh, serving in the SEALs and he was an extraordinary man and you get to hear interviews with his brothers from from the military community but also his parents who both served in the military for a combined 60 years and it's it's gut-wrenching and really takes you deeply into an issue which uh, you know today right after uh, what we've experienced in the last couple of days uh, I think is so important that we really can pay our respects and learn a little bit more a lot a lot more about these extraordinary men yeah I'm so glad you brought that up because the timing's important because Veterans Day obviously mm -hmm. tomorrow. but but after an election like this that divides the nation in half everyone can agree I believe so. on the support for these kinds of people I mean, certainly the one thing that Clinton and Trump both agree, agreed on was that we need to do more for our veterans and I think that to do more we've got to understand more deeply who these men are what they go through what their lives are like when they get out and if you if people really do care you know everybody likes to say thank you for your service and I respect you so much but you know I feel like if we really care it's our responsibility to get to know these men a little more deeply so we can understand it and this show gives you that access we're talking about the small screen here can we go back to the big screen for a second do whatever you want Matt because you've got another project coming up Patriot's Day yes. tell me a little bit about that well, Patriot's Day is a, a film uh, another film I did with Mark Wahlberg that looks at sort of the four days surrounding the Boston Marathon bomb that starts right before the bombing and it ends right after the second brother was caught and it's really a look at how this extraordinary community came together in the face of what is becoming this new horrific reality that we live in um, and it's you know also if, if I may say without getting in trouble a, a positive look at I think law enforcement and a show that um, really you know reminds us you know why cops can be so such great incredible people and it shows the very best of this community responding to a uh, really horrific experience. You know, the, the emotions are still so raw on that subject, especially up in Boston. Does that put extra pressure on you when you make a movie like that? I mean, it... it, it I was joked that I should go do a love story in France and I end up making <laughs> movies like Patriot's Day or Lone Survivor. But, you know, to, to, to be able to, to be welcomed into that community and meet the, the, the police and the private citizens and the FBI agents that, and the medical personnel that, that responded, you know, m much like we, we saw here in 9-11 and we've seen many places since then. But to, to see how honorable and, and patriotic and, and just what great men and women are responding to Boston, like like responded to Tampa or San Bernardino, it was an honor. So the the pressure was was a bit more more intense than maybe doing a superhero film, but it was it was a privilege to tell that story. And you and Mark Wahlberg are a good team on movies like this. I, I think he's a fantastic actor. Peter, it's always good pleasure. to see you. Thank you. What a pleasure. Thank Appreciate you very it. much. And you can catch the Veterans Day marathon of the War Fighters starting tomorrow night on the History Channel. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here.
to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.